Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hoodie C5. We're in Yorkshire today. Hello. Jerry, Andy, and Rich York. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. And good morning to you, Rick. Good morning. Going in a few seconds here. Yep, I should probably start pedaling. Which and then uh, we can get the channel points. Got to get the juice boxes. To her yesterday, quite a few times where I thought, oh, I need to ease up. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting route, that one. Yeah. It was fun. I like it. It's a good, good mixture of flat and, and climbing. Yeah, the last uh, three kilometers of it was a day in our blob, wasn't there, Rick? That uh, that was doing a lot of pulling, and you're starting to ramp in the power up and surge. But uh, when it came to the sprint at the finish, I think he must have. Uh, Blown himself up because uh, both Rick and I left him behind. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, when he was pulling, I was thinking, there's there's no way he's going to have the energy. Hey, good morning, Owen. <laughs> good morning, Andy. Owen, <laughs> sorry, my brain is still asleep. Morning, Jerry. <laughs> Oh. Well, we'll saw that out, one. But did you like the rest of the title? I'm struggling to think of what to title it this morning. Yeah, yeah but I never have creative titles. Just a workout name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have to use that one next time we're in Yorkshire on. Oh, Ricky Thump. Ricky <laughs> Thump, we're in Yorkshire. He by gum. I'll go to foot of our stairs. Put wood into all. No, I have to come up with all of those. They have what else to do Sharing the screen. Right 
Well, let me know where they are, Owen, and we'll give them a wave as we go past. <laughs> yeah, and you would so have to put a GoPro on your bike, Owen, if you did. Owen says, uh, quite a bit of his office, is he? At a conference in Harrogate. So yeah, they have to put yeah, a GoPro on in front of your bike. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Let's let us know where they are and we'll give them a wave. This cold is getting me today. I felt the scratchy throat yesterday, but uh -huh. yeah, starting to become a cold. I was yesterday. I was hoping it would go away. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's hope it Lucky. goes away. Yeah. Oh well. If it doesn't, I guess I get a couple of days to sleep in. Or if you get it, just get it quickly and get it over and done with. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah, luckily, it hasn't moved into my head yet. So, ah, that's so that should good. that should help out with. I have a dentist appointment today to get a filling. So, it's always the worst when you have a, a head cold and they're working in your mouth and you're trying to breathe oh. through your nose. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was there when uh, I went to the dentist last month. Yeah, yeah, I was still at the point then when I was, uh, I, I needed a cough sweet in my mouth, otherwise I was going to cough. Yeah. Get the other way down there. Come on, Rick, pull us up here. Yeah, so we ended up getting probably about a half an inch of snow yesterday morning. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it was, it was very unexpected. Well, they said flurries, but it ended up being a, a coating, but it all melted away later on in the day. We got earlier made a snowman. <laughs> that was it. it was extremely fluffy snow too. It was uh, 
it seemed like the kind you get, you know, in January <laughs> when it's extremely cold. Yeah, but I really hope this is the last bit of it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's 17 degrees here right now. And then the wind, the wind chills down in the negatives. Or yeah. in the single digits. Oh, like yes. But then tomorrow, we're going to be back in the 40s. Oh, okay. I haven't looked that far. So you'll probably be a little warmer down there. Uh, it's 18 right now. East. So about the same <laughs> ballpark. Yeah. I haven't looked. Do you want to build a snowman, Owen? <laughs> I'll build a snowman if we get some more snow. 26 degrees here. Yeah. Feels like the winter's taking the winter into account. The other day, my daughter wanted me to take her and her friends to the to the ice skating rink, and I was like, "Really, ice? <laughs> Is there anything else we can do?" <laughs> I'm done with that. I'm not even putting ice in my water right now. I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. Show the horse. I'm Joe. <laughs> so, most of Tina's tulips is starting to come up. Nice. So now with this cold spell, I'm putting tops and stuff over them every night. <laughs> so I'm really hopeful warmer weather so I can stop doing that. Because that's a pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> That is the one thing up here. The flowers are still a little ways away. Oh, okay. So, yep. so they have less chance of freezing, but. That's right. Yeah, because whenever I go down to Massachusetts to visit family, it's always amazing how much, how quicker the, the grass starts turning green and that the leaves start coming out. It's usually within like a week or two, at least. We are close to that. Makes me feel like I'm in the Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few miles up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We done yet? <laughs> what workout are you doing, Jerry? My favorite blue workout. Oh. <laughs> I'm just sitting in zone two today. Yeah. I just got flakes of blue in my grey. Probably what I was going to do this whole week. I need a good rest week. I was hoping to kind of dial it up a little bit this week, but now with this cold, I don't know. We'll see. Yep, just tick it over. At this point, I feel like I'm working at 2.5. Welcome, Welcome to my world. Hard. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Owen, what do you have tonight? <laughs> the O2 Max. <laughs> I 
got 30-15s, I'm sure. Eight minute threshold for oh, your no. two. I can't even think about doing that now. <laughs> So yesterday afternoon, my leg was kind of swollen, so I lay on the sofa while I was in a one-hour meeting. And, uh, put my leg up on the back of the sofa. Really comfortable there. It's a good job I was on mute. I was, it didn't take long before I, I was snoring. <laughs> I woke up just before the end of the meeting. <laughs> The organizer for that meeting is my team leader. I said, uh, you didn't ask me for anything in that meeting, did you? <laughs> hey there, Bonnie. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing the stream. Thirty fifteen was a couple of weeks ago. That means it's about time for it again, doesn't it, Owen? Right on hills. When was the one that uh, we couldn't do math on? Is that last week? <laughs> Yeah, it's overrated that breathing thing. So, yesterday, I had a baseball card turn up in the mail. The envelope was handwritten rest to me and the baseball card was wrapped in a piece of paper that said thank you for your order I haven't ordered anything I don't know where that's come from uh-huh well I have Store ordered some probably. things What's that, Nick? The store, probably. <laughs> Most likely. Well, so I've only just started ordering. Like ordered. I've only just started ordering stuff off eBay again because I needed to yeah. sort my account out. My eBay app um, logged me out of eBay, so. But that, I only ordered stuff last weekend, and this turned up yesterday, so. It's not related to any of those. I looked at the addresses of each of the people I ordered stuff off, and none of them are anywhere in Georgia, which is where this baseball card came from. <laughs> I don't know. I've ordered some solder paste some more components so I can finish the remaining four pulse generators off. So they're right on there, John. Thank you. 
Jerry Delpaw, thank you for liking the stream. Hey, thanks, Jerry. <laughs> You're just making sure it still works, aren't you? <laughs> for the ride on their own. Message from that Rick as well. In the stream. <laughs> it left out now, although I shared it earlier. That counts. Oh, you can. <clears throat> Give it a ride on me. Point. Sand it ride ons. Sure. Work this out as well. Like in the stream there, Owen. <laughs> Thanks for the ride on Drake and Andy. And You're welcome. Thank you. For the ride on. Oh. My legs just don't want to move this morning. I know that feeling. I guess what, what counts is when we still move them, even when they don't want to move. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yep. That makes a big difference. No, you're not running out of ways to play on. There's plenty of others. I mean, you could type exclamation roll <laughs> or exclamation <laughs> power. Or even slip the word birthday into uh, into a message. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of ways left yet. Yeah. Oh, you could redeem another 40,000 channel points. Huh. Yep. I'm building mine back up again. I'll soon be at half a million. Definitely got less than that. No, it'll show up on the uh, on the Swift screen. On, give it a minute or so. It'll be there. Yeah, uh, that birthday one takes a long time. Yeah. Oh, it's got to build up. It's got to blow the balloons up, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. There it is. It takes a long. <laughs> there we go. That <laughs> <laughs> took forever. Yeah, they've got to tie the strings on the top of the screen. <laughs> and now we get it twice. Oh, 
make it slightly smaller so it hang off the the bar there at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, you did say it twice, intentionally, Owen. What, what well, did no, you say, you Owen? So I got a run to the jump in yesterday and got the uh, brush that was in the bed of my truck emptied out. Nice. So now I have a repeater cabinet back in the bed of my truck. Oh. <laughs> I, I was being told I had to move it because uh, it meant that only Faith's car would fit in the garage. The landers wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> And it's standing on the floor. Oh. I'm in the easy block. And I'm looking up to see if it's going to get easier. <laughs> That's just sad. So it sounds like Moles enjoyed his race on Sunday. Yeah. And I saw some videos of the race. Huh? Kind of disappointed that I didn't go and tolerate the cold. Because <laughs> it looked like they had fun. Yeah. I told them the next time I say no, remind me about the feeling I had after you did it and I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, my cousin and I started planning all of our, a lot of our rides we're going to do this summer. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, I told her to get a trainer, get a smart trainer and, and uh, be able to train all winter. And she never did it. Oh, she kept, she kept fussing about the price. <laughs> and uh -huh. so, so now I have to wait for her to catch up. But. Yep. But yeah, we have uh, a few plans like to go down, go down to Acadia National Park and then climb Mount Cadillac a couple of times. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. Only a couple. Come on. Get your in real life every scene done. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I wanted to go there, climb a couple of times do the park loop and then uh and then ride back which would be probably about 120 140 miles yes yeah. all together wow. but i don't know if she could do that right now right. maybe by the end of the summer i mean i would be pushing that would be tough for me because the, the whole road out there no matter what you have to go over over lots of uh, big hills and valleys and whatnot in order to uh, just to get to the coast. Yeah. Well, never mind Mills, Owen. We're all now responsible for encouraging Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you when the next races is then. Let me speak to Mills. 
<laughs> yeah. Like I said the other day, if it was me, I'd register you and tell you that you're doing it like the day before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's the case with quite a few people, Owen. Oh yes. It's been a few times when. Uh, Someone's asked me to slow down going up a hill, and I've said, what hill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was really, I was really encouraging her. Hopefully this year she'll do it when mm -hmm. she sees how much better I'm doing. I thought she'd see it last year. Yeah. But yep. I, I keep telling her, like, yeah, once you get on Zwift, it'll, it'll be fun. You'll, you'll look forward to it most days. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Almost all of the I have the a days. colleague that I've rode with called Friend. And he had a hybrid bike. But he also only rides maybe 200 miles in a year. Yeah. So he's always off the back. And yeah. end of last year, he decided he's going to get himself a road bike so he can keep up. Spend about five and a half grand on a bike. Ooh. He went out about two weeks ago, came back really disappointed because he didn't increase his, his personal best by a lot, only by a few seconds. Yeah. Like, yep, <laughs> you need the motor as well. Yeah. It's not just the bike, it makes a difference, but. Yep. You'll get more out of the bike with, with a good motor, for sure. <laughs> so yeah I hope to ride with him a few times this year I went on a couple of years ago I went to my local bike shop evening group ride on my steel frame and uh, there's a section of that where we ride up an overpass and uh, it's kind of a race up there and I'm usually up there first so I think everyone thought me being on a steel frame was going to change that it didn't. <laughs> nope. We got to the top and one guy said to me, so the bike doesn't make that much of a difference then, eh? I said, it's all the engine. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> yeah, it makes a difference if you're at the pointy end of races. Oh, yeah. But if you're not there, it doesn't make that much of a difference. No. But in my skill frame as down tube shifters. Well, being able to shift without moving your hands off the bars is beneficial yeah it's just lots of little things that make the make the difference yeah. that's right yeah moving from down tube shifters up to road shifters makes a big difference yeah not really in speed but just for ride comfort and things like that yeah <laughs> i remember riding on my steel frame before i got this bike and uh, I was out with a couple of friends, one of which was training for Wisconsin Ironman. And uh, I said to him, I said, I bet you can't do this. And I reached down with my left hand and shifted my right shifter. <laughs> 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 he tried it. He almost came off, but he tried it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> reached across to his left brake, his right brake with his left hand. To try and shift. Oh no! <laughs> the 
That's a disaster bound to happen. <laughs> Lately, I've been spending my free time at the the bike shop near my work mm -hmm. uh, with a with a Trek Demon. <laughs> just just been looking at it, you know, thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> my wife said I could get it, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right thing right now. Pricey for sure. Yeah, I could use a bike more like that. I could definitely use a bike more like that, but I mean, this bike does fine for me. This is the only, only roadish bike I have. It's a Trek checkpoint, and it's still pretty new, but uh but it has you know like has slick thirty twos on it, which oh, I, yes. I guess, I guess they wanted. They're supposed to be gravel tires, which they work fine on gravel, but they have no grip on them. They look like road tires, just a little wider. Oh, yes. But this one does fine. So I mean, Zen plus one. Not hitting, high, not hitting high speeds or anything, you know? Yeah. But I've also, I haven't ridden a real nice road bike either, so. I don't know how much, how much speed I would gain over that, or what. Well, if the Do gearing I... is different, that makes a difference. Yeah, yeah that would be huge. Do That's I... the other thing. Yeah, get in, get in like a twelve speed like that. And, speed, uh... speed. To, well, for me anyway, speed wasn't that much different between going with my with my steel frame and moving to my Madone, but comfort. That makes a heck of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. It means you can go for harder for longer. Oh, the yeah, thing as is long just, as you don't run out of gears. It looks fantastic too. The thing just looks amazing. <laughs> I love right. all the all the, the track designs. They look cool. Oh yes. That was one of the reasons that I ended up with this bike. I liked how it looked. And the rear brake is under the bottom bracket. So the, the back of the bike is really clean. Oh yes. And to maintain that I haven't put a I haven't put anything under the back under the seat to uh, to put stuff in. There's nothing on the back of the bike Keep except nice for the bike light. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I'm still racing on a two thousand and four. Giant TCR. So that's the thing. See, that's one way to look at it. Is if I do this, make this investment, I'm as long as I don't wreck it, I'm gonna have it for a very long time. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Mine's almost Plus ten years old now. Still have the resale value seems. To been looking at a lot of used bikes and they all seem to still fetch a pretty high price. Well, especially yeah. at the moment. Our bikes are yeah. still pretty hard moment. to get hold of, yeah. yeah well, mine's, mine's almost 10 years old now. I still need you, Andy. <laughs> well, you do. Mind you. Down there. I've got the frame. In my bike that I got when I was 15. Can't part with that. But my uh, my Majorne's yeah. had its upgrades over the years, and uh, I've probably got about 10,000 tied up in this now. Rick. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If I'm really debating upgrading my group set. Yeah. So I've seen some used DI2s yeah. online. Yeah. I'm debating They're... if I want to go that route. Yep, that will be the next upgrade for me. 
looking at all the parts, it's definitely, it's easy to rack the price up for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, definitely. Actually, yeah, I've thought about just keeping this, because I mean, it's a decent frame, you know, it's aluminum, but I mean, it's still, it's, it's light and, you know, how yes. light do I really need? But I want to upgrade the whole cabin, cabin isn't out. Cabin isn't about weight. It's about uh, making a frame that's compliant in the directions that you need it to be to soak up uh, rumble, yeah. road rumble. Yeah, stiff in the direction you yeah. need it to be to transfer power to the rear wheel. You can't do that with any other material. You know, the aluminium frame, it's a, it's a compromise. Steel frame, titanium, they're all compromises. Oh, that'll be a good update, Owen. Make it a gravel bike so you can use it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I got to... has Go on, Jerry. all the exposed cabling. Yeah. Like the gear cables are still in front and <laughs> the cockpit is just super busy. <laughs> It would be nice to get rid of that. <laughs> I think if I stay with rim brakes, it's going to be a lot of people that's getting rid of rim brake nice wheels. And I can yeah. maybe get a nice deal on some really nice wheels. Although I've got some pretty good wheels. We've got some very nice wheels. Giant SLR zeros. Uh huh. Cab cabin rims. Yep. That'll look nice on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just have a birthday? <laughs> yep. <laughs> no wheels. Huh? Bike stuff is just too expensive. Yeah, it's in just... a couple of months. I got treated on Christmas and I got a GoPro. Nice. It was one of those things that I thought I'll get one day one day that thing that you know you're never going to buy yourself in any way but it's always nice looking at them and tina decided well it's this time so it's fun yeah i need to get us a new gopro someone i don't know who someone managed to break the hinge on the uh battery cover so oh, no. I can't trust the waterproofing on it anymore you don't have a replaceable battery cover you can find them on eBay and Amazon but they're not the original thing so again I wouldn't trust the waterproofing on them oh, okay yeah. you can't find them on the GoPro website no not anymore they used to have them oh. but no, mine's, mine's old enough that they stopped uh, selling parts for that one. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I could also... Yeah, see? See, we're working on things here. I could get a GoPro as a safety expense. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Outdoor, outdoor riding. I've been cut off so many times, almost crashed. Purposely crashed into one car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hit the brakes first, but I still hit their car. And then yeah. yelled at them for cutting me off. <laughs> yeah, I noticed riding, uh, I went out riding on Saturday. And I noticed that. Usually people around here are pretty good at, at moving out around uh, cyclists and runners. 
but I don't know if the winter did something or what, but it seemed like nobody was moving over. They were all driving extremely close. They all forgot so, about how to drive with COVID yeah. and winter and everything. I'm hoping they figure it out by the time I get out a lot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And then there's some towns when you start getting out a little bit where, you know, you get the people in huge trucks with loud pipes driving really close to you. Uh, cause I, I think, cause they want you to hear their, their exhaust or something. I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> like to do that whole rev up thing right before they go by. But those are, those are towns I try to avoid. I've started to make a list of which towns to avoid. Oh, yep. <laughs> you won't be able to ride anywhere soon. <laughs> yeah. If I stick more to the coast side, then uh, typically it's pretty good. But once I start heading more north, that's, that's usually when I can run into a little bit of trouble with that. Because he might have been looking to treat the new bike before he's even got it. What do you want to treat it with, Owen? Hey, Lionel. Thanks for liking the stream. Good morning to you. I need some, uh, some cat treatment for my bike when it's on the trainer. So far, every, just about all of the, the dings and scratches are, are mostly from my cat at this point. Oh. <laughs> and he's always knocking things over and I'll find them laying up against my bike. Or, uh, or he, he likes to walk on it when he wants my attention. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's interesting, Owen. I've seen the rim brake stuff go for slightly cheaper, but minus fifty-five millimeter. On it does mean that you've got to get tubes that have eighty millimeter valve stems on them. <laughs> they oh, just yes. look insanely long until it's all in the wheel. <laughs> yeah I haven't ridden on carbon deep section wheels yeah it takes a bit of getting used to Jerry you know you've got a crosswind you're getting blown about a bit but you soon yeah. get used to it well I've got the Mavic Assyriums yeah with the flat spokes uh -huh. They are not a lot of fun in the crosswinds. Yeah. So I can imagine how that feels, but the Cassiriums are so light. Right. That even carbon wheels are more heavy than, than these. Although those would be more aero. I don't know what I want to save, weight or aero. Because it doesn't help I get to the hill first. <laughs> I can't get over it. No, these are all alloy or alloy. Owen.
<laughs> Those are nice training girls. The only difference between the SLR zeros and the SLR ones are the hubs. They're on the SLR zeros, they've got a DT Swiss. Oh, three, yeah. three wheel. Whereas on the uh, SLR ones, they're uh, the traditional pole based three wheel. And the DT Swiss stuff is so easy to service. Let's take my rear wheel out, pull the hub cap off, and there's the there's the ratchet. Oh wow! Yes, this is... it, put it back together, and we're done. So, it's a whole new territory now, servicing wheels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh once, yes. Once a month, I strip my bike down, clean it. Yeah. When I'm riding outdoors. Once a week. I'll take the chain off, clean the drivetrain. Yeah, so far the only only new things I've had this bike. I think it's been about almost two years, and so far I just have a new chain and some new handlebar tape. <laughs> it's about all I've. I still feel like I've spent a lot of money on it, but I think it's just all been extra stuff. Not involving yes. components. Exactly on. Oh, cup and cone. So yeah. much fun, Owen. I've got a set of uh, Shimano race wheels. Fairly deep section. They've only got 16 spokes, but they're arranged in a way that it looks like they've only got eight to pair together. Oh, yes. And the left side of the hub pulls on the right side of the rim. They cross over. Oh, wow. Definitely an okay. interesting wheel design. And all the, the, the hook is on the outside on the rim. The adjustments on the hub. Yes. <laughs> but they're uh, they're three balls and uh, cups and cones. Going to look them up on Shimano WH sixty six zero zero. Interesting wheel design. They're on my steel frame. Right there. <laughs> Let's see how they look. I can get some pictures. Stream. I think I know them. Ah, okay, yep, I know these wheels. Not finding your thought what's up in there. Come on, where are you? They got given them. Yep. The bags and everything. Uh, 
I have a version with even less spokes than that one. I know my brother's got those. Still not as light as the Mavic Assyrians. <laughs> even with less spokes. Reduction in spokes is about the wind resistance as they're rotating. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a lot about mass. No. I mean, the spokes on my wheel set here are stainless steel, so. but they're, uh, they're bladed as well. Front wheel's radially laced, the rear wheel is radial and crossed. On the non-drive side they're radially laced, on the drive side they're crossed. Yep. It depends on the tension of them. Oh, and how the rim is built up. Yes, how the rim is built makes a big difference. Yeah. I used to break a lot of spokes on my rear wheels until I had a proper bike builder take the whole thing apart and start from scratch every time I've snapped a spoke when my derailleur went into the rear wheel that was oh, pretty catastrophic yeah, that, sounds... <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> yeah, it, it did do it, Owen. <laughs> All I could do was put my bike on my shoulder and walk home then. Yes. Mine usually broke on climbs. Apparently 40 RPMs on a climb. <laughs> it's not a, not a Jer good idea. Jerry Cadence. Yeah. Oh, I remember this on the TTT, Jerry. Me coming down here, trying to catch you guys up, give you to give our team oh, the fourth yep. across the line. There's the finish line. That that was the one where you you're pulling someone back. Yeah. And then decided to go. Yeah, Rick. It was Rich. Rich was off the bar. The yeah. Was it Rich? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. We only what? thought about we need four over the line. No, I was thinking about it long very, before. Very close to the finish. I didn't even think about that. No, I was I was watching the gap between us and thinking, right, when can I leave it to? When can I leave it to? <laughs> no. Well, we've got 15 minutes to go, 16, and this is the last of my water bottle. Oh, wow. That's you it, really empty. I enjoy that water today. Is it flavoured? You've got yeah. some... It's got some Gatorade in it. In there. Yeah, Gatorade powder. I find if my bottle has some good flavoring in it, I drink a lot more. Yeah. If it's just water, I'm fine. Yeah, I usually, if I'm on the, the Odin Century, I'll put two bottles with uh, Gatorade in there and one with water in. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I usually do for the three hour ones. Usually like like now I have water and a flavored one and I'll switch back and forth. Yeah. Because the flavor sits sits in my mouth. Kind of yep. feels like it's drying it out. <clears throat> I like water though. But the flavor does does help. We're drinking yeah. more. Yeah, but Sunday I ran out of water. I had two bottles. And the last 20 minutes, there was nothing left. Although I was nursing it for the last 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been nursing this for the past 15. <laughs> Just small sips. Does the uh, the Gatorade powder come in sugar free? No. Oh. Which I mean, I guess the sugar is good too, though. Yep. It's while you're on the bike. Yeah. It's better than corn syrup. Yeah. And probably better than the sugar-free imitation stuff they put in there to make it taste sweet. Yeah, that's true. I don't trust those sugar-free stuff. <laughs> no, you don't do us. I'm always thinking. Of, I'm always thinking about my uh, my dental bills. <laughs> no, I I have te yep. teeth. If I if I drink soda or anything like that, then I'm gonna guarantee cavities. So I'll use Stevia. Uh, yep. Well, that's pretty much the only yeah. calorie free sweetener that I'll use. I basically stick to water. And the lemonade that I've got is flavored with stevia. But it's, yeah. Lemonade is not sweet by itself. And I make it whatever the container says. I diluted half of that. So it's a very weak lemonade. You can get powders, Rich, uh, Rick, but uh, made by a company called True Lemon, True Lime. And uh, they have some sugar and some stevia, so it's part, half and half. Uh, uh -huh. Nowhere near as many calories in them. You use those yeah. quite a bit as well. Yeah, calories don't bother me. <laughs> I don't mind those. The, uh, I just don't like the sweet taste. Yeah. I have, uh, yeah, every time I go into the dentist for my for my uh, six-month checkup, they'll, they'll do the cleaning and then they'll be like, you're doing a really good job with, uh, you know, brushing and flossing. There's nothing better that you could really do. And then the dentist comes in and goes, all right, we'll have to schedule you for a filling. <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yep. So now I use a special toothpaste with extra fluoride in it. Try that out, see oh. if it works. But yeah, so I've always taught myself to steer away from sugar and all that. Like usually after after a long ride, I'll have like a small can of Coke just to kind of get my sugar back up. Oh, yes. But then I, I'm brushing my teeth right after. <laughs> yes, because you can feel it on your teeth, especially with Coke. Yeah. yeah. Well, about the best thing that you can do after that, Rick, is rinse your mouth out. And then after about 30 minutes, brush your teeth. Because oh, okay. all that sugar's still around, even after you brush your teeth. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense.
How did you decide on the workout time today, Andy? <laughs> Why's that? How did you decide on the time for the meetup? I always created for 76 minutes. Because most of our workouts ah, are okay. one hour 15. Uh, yeah, most of our workouts is that length, that's true. Yeah. Why, is it just the right amount of time for your workout? No, I'm doing my own thing, so I can oh. stop whenever. Okay. No, I just looked up and I need to be out of here at seven. Yeah. So, I'll be in charge of kitchen and Diana getting dressed and ready for school, so there's a bit <laughs> more to do. Speaking of which, I need to send out a text message. When are you waking up? Man, we go through good weeks where my daughter wakes up early every day. And then we'll go through weeks where it's like after seven, she's still not up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just on the bike like, is she going to get up? <laughs> it doesn't matter if I holler from down here. She's still not going to hear me. Nope. <laughs> she has to be to school by 8.20 at the latest. Yeah, our bus comes 8.15. Yeah, luckily, we're only... uh where the school's just a block down the street. Oh, okay. So it's close enough if if she walked, but usually she wants a ride. And usually she's, on weeks like this, she's running so late that she has to have a rider out, so <laughs> she won't make it on time. <laughs> there we go, she's out. So her elementary school is a mile, exactly a mile from our house. Yeah. During winter, around Christmas, when I was on vacation, usually not my vacation days, I'd walk to the school pulling a sled and then uh, I'd pull the kids home. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, they enjoyed yeah, that. That sounds yeah. like fun. And all the snow yeah, piles sure. on the corners and things like that. I pull them over them and they fall out the back and then they'd have to get back in and <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. yeah she never wants to uh she never wants to walk to school especially in the winter yeah and uh but then of course you know sometimes i can't help but tell stories <laughs> about how uh when i uh when I was living in Maine, uh, <clears throat> we lived uh, behind a McDonald's. We had a yeah. big fence up in between. And uh, so I would take a little path in between the two fences between our property and McDonald's. And then they yes. would uh, they would plow all the snow over on that side. So I'd have to climb this mountain of snow <laughs> and then slide down <laughs> the other side to get out to the main street and then walk up to school <laughs> so it was uphill both ways you know <laughs> <laughs> literally in, yeah and sometimes 30 feet of snow you know <laughs> yeah yeah that they will own that they will you know all the all the parents have been laughing and smiling and someone say something something like they've got it easy on the way home now i said yeah Halfway home, we swap places. I get to sit in the sled. <laughs> we never did. <laughs> yeah, then after that, we uh, we moved to, out to Syracuse, New York. and lived out there for a few years. 
So I got really used to snow out there. And then we moved to, to West Virginia. And I remember <laughs> one of the first snow days they had there, it snowed about, so it was down on the uh, Ohio River Valley, so they didn't get much snow there. And uh, they ended up getting maybe an inch. And so I rode my bike to school <laughs> and I get to school and the place was closed. <laughs> I was like, what, what's going on? <laughs> I just rode my bike here. You guys can't get here. <laughs> oh, yes. The weather was nice, though. We, we actually had spring there. It was cool. <laughs> this is like usually we'd be outside playing in March. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you. All right, Jerry. See you tomorrow. All right. Have a good day, this Jerry. Was, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah it was. Good chat with you, Shua. Yep. And she's out. Three minutes left, four minutes. And then there were two. I'm having a chat with a guy in my radio club the other day. He was mentioning that uh, the local store that uh, stocks quite a few different beers from uh, microbreweries in the area. Yeah. And there's some quite interesting non-alcoholic ones. One of them is a yeah. stout. It's called Hairless Jog. So I thought, well, that's, that's interesting. I haven't had stout in a long time long time and where I, I was like going to go and get some one. and I found out it's a it's a coffee stout it's got coffee yeah. in it but well, I don't do caffeine either so that uh, one's out yeah. I'm going to have a look see what they've got yeah I um I would imagine I haven't tried any of those ones any of the non-alcoholic micro ones yeah but I would almost imagine that a stout would be the easiest one to do uh -huh. and still be able to keep that flavor. Yeah. It's definitely, I would imagine it's limited on styles because uh, a lot of styles are using that, that alcohol flavor to balance out the beer. Right. But I haven't looked into how they make those at all. That would be handy. I wouldn't mind doing that at my work. Because then when everybody has a shift beer, I could just have a non-alcoholic one. <laughs> Still join in. Thinking target's going to be 36 kilometers here. You're about right. Yeah, this is perfect timing today for my dentist appointment. I want to send it this way. Beer. What's up? Owen, oh, oh. on the stream chat, he says, send it this way, the beer. Oh, yeah. So that one's that one's local to you yeah we have quite a few different microbreweries beers in let's go and have a look see what else you've got Just kilometer out, 200 meters.
Good chat this morning. Here we go. That's me done. All right, thanks, Owen. It's been in the stream chat today. Anybody else that's been in there watching us? Much appreciated you being there. We'll have another stream up in about an hour's time, a little over an hour's time. That'll be the Timodi Z coffee ride. Until then, take care. Have yourselves a good day. Right on, everybody. Right on. Where's my mouse pointer? There it is. <laughs>